You know, each time I make one of these videos, I seem to stray further and further away from the usual type of videos that I make, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, but, you know, it's, it's working so far, so I think I'm doing alright. But either way, you know, um, welcome back to another episode of Starsick. Um, quite ironic considering the name, but I am feeling a little under the weather at the minute. Uh, so, if I sound a little different in this episode, then that's why. But we do still have a lot that I want to cover today. Um, starting with... Ooh, that's interesting. I haven't decided what I want to start with yet. Uh, you know what, let's just... Let's just go down the itemized list of things I want to cover. The first of those things apparently being going to sleep, because I really don't want to deal with the mobs right now. But I guess the, at the top of the list of things I want to show off, really, is the new textures I have for some of the Astral Sorcery blocks. It isn't all of them, unfortunately, but it is a large majority of them. Now, I don't actually know how I feel about these textures, to be honest, because they are quite different than what I'm used to. How are you still alive? Bad skeleton. But as I was saying, they are quite different than what I'm used to, especially considering I've played for so long with just, you know, the vanilla textures. Uh, and they're also an entire resolution higher than everything else. But, I don't know, I... It's weird. I like some of them, and I don't like some of them, I guess. It, it's very much a mixed bag. Uh, but, I don't know. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm alright with it. I think it'll take me a while to get used to, but... You know, they are nice, I'll give them that. Uh, the second thing I want to cover is that I actually have brand new textures as well for the Project E mod. We finally have some Sfax textures for this. You know, you can see the, the symbol engraved in the side there. Uh, and I actually brought this over here because in between episodes, uh, amongst a lot of other things that I've been doing, I actually managed to finally just wait around long enough to charge up my Clyde Star to nearly full, which is quite, you know good. This thing is so slow, and as soon as I get the chance, I am upgrading this in a heartbeat. But that's not one of the most important things we're going to cover today, or at least it's part of it. I may, You may have seen it on the mini-map, you may have uh, caught glimpses of it as I've been moving around, but uh, yeah, we have this massive space now, and uh, don't worry, you are going to get to see me clear all of this out and put all of the flooring down, because I did, in fact, time-lapse it, and uh, you know what, before we continue, let's just cut to that now. Let's just let's just cut to the time lapse now so we can get that out of the way and uh, I can explain what I want to do in today's episode. So uh whew. Now, in the last episode, I was very much stressed about this particular item over here, the crystal lens. Because, if I remember correctly, I was trying to create some, uh... Oh, what's it now? Star metal? Star? Starlight ore? Something like that. Uh, and I needed to try and find a way to focus the starlight from this collector crystal onto the iron ore, and I didn't quite know what I was doing. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier, in between episodes, I have done a lot, and I mean a lot of experimentation in a single-player world, uh, just to sort of, you know, figure out what I'm actually supposed to be doing. And as it turns out, I was completely safe to just plonk the mirror down and use that to beam latent starlight into the ore, um, because that's exactly how it works. So we're going to hop over here, and I'm actually going to EMC the mirror a couple of times, because I didn't realize this, but I inadvertently gave the mirror the highest sort of, like, tier upgrade I can. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it's Purity 2, right? Yeah, Purity 2 is the highest level light thing you could give to one of these crystal lenses, and I just gave it that by accident, so, you know, I'm just that good. But yeah, let's EMC some- oh my god. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's just, uh, let's get rid of that, and let's just pop this down in here. We could sacrifice some of this sand, because we don't really need that much of it right now. I want to wait uh, until the end of this episode. I'm not going to spoil why, but I want to wait until the end of this episode to start filling in that area with sand again. Uh, hopefully, at least, uh, you'll be able to see why at the end of the episode. If I'm quick enough and I get everything covered, you will be. But if not, it will be in the next one, so, you know... There's no, there's no worry there. We have six crystal lenses already. Let's wait until this one sort of counts up, I guess, and then we can click this out of here. There we go. We now have eight crystal lenses. We don't need eight crystal lenses, but considering that these are the highest tier thing, you know, it's it's better to have more than less. So if we hop down here into the crystal chamber. Admittedly, I'm not sure if this works while it's daytime, but even if it doesn't, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's it's worth having it set up. I'm going to put the mirror down here. There we go. And then I should use my resonating wand, I believe, to right-click this. Okay, it's not the resonating wand. I had a feeling it wasn't, but I just wanted to make sure. What we need is this thing called a linking tool. Now, to make a linking tool, it's actually relatively simple. We do need another rock crystal, but everything else is, you know, child's play to make. So we need two logs of any kind from the looks of it, four sticks, two aquamarine, and one rock crystal. I'm going to go out and collect all of this material, and then I will jump cut to me at the astral altar, uh, you know, about to craft it. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I say things in the video that I plan on doing in editing, and then I forget to do them, so... Let's see how well my memory is. Boom! Log, log, stick, 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 stick. Oh, no, I, I missed. Stick. What do you guys think of the new aquamarine texture, by the way? Because I quite like it. it. It It's very much in line with the, the whole sfaxy aesthetic of the pack. Aquamarine, aquamarine. And the last thing we need is a rock crystal. I don't know if I actually have one of these or not, so if not, we might actually have to wait till night time and speed run this whole thing again. But luckily, everything is already in place, so it should just be a matter of digging down, flying back up, and dropping it in there. Although I do want to quickly check my backpack just to make sure. Oh, yes, I do. Size 3, Purity 2. Now, considering I already have uh, all of those, you know, crystal lenses with Purity 2, I don't really think I actually need anything else with purity and size. Admittedly, I don't know what size does, so I'm just going to assume that I'm fine to use this. If not, yell at me in the comments about how stupid I am, but otherwise, let's just plop this in here. And wait till night time. Oh, 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 oh. Since we have to wait till night time anyway, as soon as it hits night time, I'm actually going to be able to show you guys uh, another thing that I accidentally did between episodes. Thankfully, I didn't do all of them. Um, I only did two, but I, I did do something in between episodes that I really want to show you because it just looks really cool. Like, I, I, I have them all unlocked in a creative world, but uh, anyway, I don't want to spoil it too much, but they look so cool. Anyway, uh... Let's just, uh, let's just jump until it's night time. Alright, it looks like I didn't actually have to wait that long. It is, it is just turning night now. But while I was waiting, I did hop back over to the chess room, um, to grab the red matter and dark matter that I was working on in the last episode. Uh, you'll see I have actually come quite far 
at least in comparison to last episode, that was, I, I just, um, I used the exploit that I learned in the past episode and managed to get this far, but after this much, I kind of just got really bored, so I stopped. But I just did quickly plop a red matter orb up here to, you know, condense while I wait. Uh, but you can see over here, this is the thing that uh, I accidentally did in between episodes. Let me see if I can find it. It should still be in the sky somewhere. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a new one there. Oh, maybe I'll get the... Ch I, 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 oh, I need to... I need to quickly... I need to do this. I'll explain to you guys what it is afterwards. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and... Eight? Yes! Okay, we got it. You actually got to see the process right there. Uh, discovered constellation, Amara. This is a feature- there, it's over there. This is a feature of the mod I could never quite figure out when I first got the telescope. Uh, but I learned how to do it, uh, off-camera while I was time-lapsing that, actually. Uh, and it's my f it's one of my favorite things about this mod, but you can see up there one of the constellations I already traced. Uh, and that's the one I just did. Um, and I have done another one, but I don't think it's available on this night, because they only show up in relation to the phase of the moon. Uh, but if I open up my Astral Tome, and I go to Constellations, you see all of these patterns that we learned from putting these papers into our uh, Astral Tome. That's what these are. These are these constellations, and if you click on them, obviously, at the bottom, it shows the phases of the moon. But because I've learned Avitas just now, exposure to focused light of this constellation will cause nearby life to flourish and greatly increase its produce. It tells me what each constellation sort of represents. Now, the third one that I did that isn't available tonight is Dis... Uh, Discidia? Discidia? For some reason, it's giving me the question mark, but I did trace Discidia. So I'm not sure why it's not unlocked. Let me get somewhere safe, hold on. Amara is the one that I just learned. Then we have Avitas, which is... Oh, wait, hold on, no. Oh, no, sorry, I remember now. I saw Dissidia, but I didn't trace it in time. Because by, by the time I'd figured out how to do it, the moon had gone. Uh, so I actually know, um... Avitas, uh, oh, the, it tells you the ritual effect as well, but we'll get into that later, that's something further down the line. Evariso, uh, and, uh, Amara, these three. So, on a full moon, you should be able to see all of them in the sky, actually, but, uh, it's not a full moon at the minute, so unfortunately you can't. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, shit, yeah, the ritual. <laughs> That would have been disastrous if I'd if I'd forgotten. Let's let's quickly get this. There we go. We have ourselves a linking tool, which is what we can use uh, if we're quick, hopefully, to turn this iron ore into some starlight ore. So yeah, the way this works is you right-click the crystal, and then you right-click the mirror, and then you uh, scroll off it to stop the linking effect. As you can see, there's like a, a beam of uh, starlight being hit to the mirror, or, like, tracked to the mirror, or so I- I'm too excited to remember the actual term. But then you right-click the mirror, and then you right-click the iron ore, and if you look, it's doing this magical sort of, uh, particle effect, and, give it a minute, or maybe more than a minute, it might take a while, actually, um, especially because the moon is already over there, but if we wait long enough, you know, on the off chance that it might make things go a little quicker, I am, purely for the sake of science, going to just put down more mirrors, because, you know, where's the harm in that, eh? I, I see no harm in this. This is gonna go perfect, and you can't tell me otherwise. Okay, so I've come up with a new plan. Instead of linking the mirrors to each other, I'm going to link the crystal to the mirrors individually, and then the mirrors to the ore, thereby directing two separate channels of starlight. There we go! 
Okay, so it doesn't have to be nighttime, which is, you know, good. Ah, now that might prove an issue. Or not, actually, because it hasn't even generated one yet, but it has generated 9,000 EMC. So let's just poke this out, and let's drop the star metal ore in. There we go. Right, 35. That's not as much as I was uh, I was expecting, but it's it's still better than nothing. So the next step, I believe, uh, well, actually, no, there is no next step. That was exactly what I wanted to do. I just wanted to make star metal. So if we check the astral tome, the next thing that I wanted to work on uh, was the ah, I remember now. These were what I originally wanted to do in the last session. I wanted to make the telescope, and I wanted to make the sharing discoveries thing, the, uh, scroll of written expertise. But to make these, I needed the star dust. Now I'm starting to remember, because to get the star dust, I needed star metal, and to get star dust, I needed the star metal cutting tool, which was an ingot, two gold nuggets, two infused wood planks, and another gold nugget. So we can actually make this now, so... Now, I know we have liquid starlight, but do we have liquid star metal? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine then. Because if we did, I was going to suggest putting this in the, uh, not the condenser. The smeltery, that's it. I was going to suggest putting this in the smeltery so that perhaps we could perform the same exploit as we did with the iron and the gold. But instead, I think it'd be more efficient at the minute, just checking for mobs because I know they like to spawn in here, it'd be more efficient to drop it in the golden furnace. Here we are, star metal ingot. I don't know how I feel about the texture for the star metal ingot. This is the default astral sorcery texture, by the way. This isn't like a sfax one. Um, right, I suppose we can just wait for this to finish burning because, you know, I mean... It's about to burn out anyway. And there we go. We've still got 30 ore. Let me let me check these chests. See if there's any coal in here. There's one coal. You know what? Fair enough, lad. Let's just let's drop the coal in here. There we go. And we can leave that to do its thing while we hop over here to craft the starlight cutting tool. <sighs> Unfortunately, I am still getting the audio bug. I do know how to fix it, but it takes a while because it requires logging out of the server. Uh, but let's drop that there. Uh, what was the rest of the recipe? It was two infused wood planks, which I believe I have in here? No. Where did I put the infused wood? Yes, here we are. In oh, it's engraved. Oh, Bollocks, I'm gonna have to make some more. Hello, almighty tree, I thank you for your sacrifice. So now if we just drop these logs in here. There we go, it'll start it'll start popping around. Uh, and then if we're quick, we should be able to quickly turn this into planks. If I remember how. I do not remember how. Do I just put it in my normal inventory? No? Okay, let's quickly look up how we make planks. Okay, we just drop it in the center according to this. There we go. And then, uh, let's grab the wand. Where did I put my wand? Oh, it's there. Okay. Let's make these planks. And then, if we're quick, we should be able to plop the planks down here. Put the star metal ingot here. And what was the rest of the crafting recipe? It was golden nuggets. We do have some gold lying around, right? I really hope we do, because that's the last thing we need. Okay, we have one gold ingot, and unfortunately that means I am going to have to sacrifice it into nuggets, but you know, I can always go get some. Gold isn't exactly rare. It's the diamonds and the emeralds and stuff like that that you want to keep on hand to EMC. The rest of it, you should be fine. Uh, let's drop the gold, gold, and gold, and why aren't you powered? That is the recipe, right? Yeah, star metal ingot, gold, gold, infused wood, infused wood, golden nugget. Why... Why aren't you doing your thing? Why are you not picking up starlight? What's changed? Is it... An eclipse? I'm sorry? 
Now hold on a minute, is that a legitimate thing? Are there eclipses in this mod pack? Because if there are, I feel extremely cheated. But if there are, that means I better not waste this night, because I know I still have my telescope on me. I want to see if I can really quickly just nab another one of these constellations. Because I'm pretty sure in order to advance, I do have to get them all at some point anyway. Oh, now that is a shame. That that really is a shame. Is that really the only one that's going to show up tonight? Ah, <sighs> Alright then. Now, I know it might seem like a bit of a messy idea, considering that, you know, once we advance enough through this mod, uh, we'll be able to make our own, but... Considering that eclipses can apparently happen, and I had no idea about that, I think it might be worth actually EMCing a couple more of these crystal lenses, and using them to redirect nearby starlight energy into the altar. And while I know there is a crystal over there, I don't know if that's too far away that it would dilute the starlight. But it is something I do want to test, so I am going to quickly clear out these mobs, and then set to work on maybe making a starlight highway so to speak. So just for the sake of formality, I am going to use these marble pillars to like put the mirrors on top of. I'm also not sure what range the the mirrors have before they like run out, I guess. So this is very much going to be a trial and error. Crystal to mirror, mirror to mirror, and mirror to mirror. Is that going to work? Or is that... Is that diluting the starlight too much? Can you even see that? I don't think it can. Maybe if I bring this one down... No, I'm still not getting a connection. And I'm not sure why... But if I change it so that it's at an angle, and put the starlight crystal lens here, and then tap this to this... You see, it turned, but it's still not reflecting any starlight. So I'm starting to think that it has... Uh, it, it has some sort of mirror limit. If I, if I click this and I, I click this... No, it, it's still not connecting. And I'm not sure why. I'm starting to think that there is in fact a limit on how far you can trail the starlight, unfortunately. So it appears that my plan has been a bit of a bust. Right, well, since that plan was a bust and I don't really have a backup plan in case another eclipse arrives, and I can't really do the other things I want to do in today's episode until I am finished with the stuff that I want to do with Astral Sorcery, I suppose I'm just sort of stuck waiting for night time again, which admittedly is the biggest gripe I have with this mod. You cannot do anything in like in, unless it's night time, basically. So, yeah, I, I guess we're waiting for that again. Let me, I don't know, let me put some red matter in here so I can start, I can start EMCing some of that. While I'm, while I'm, while I'm waiting for nightfall, I could actually have a look around here, like I said I was going to, to see if I can find any more dimensional shards, because they are still the most lucrative sort of ore that you can EMC. They're even more effective in the short term than the gold exploit, which is quite amusing. Great, a monster box. <sighs> Not looking forward to dealing with this. Haha, -ha, dummies. Stinky. Oh my. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Ow. Right, let's see if I can MLG this. Nope! I just messed that up entirely. I don't think, legitimately, that that could have gotten worse, really. Right, let's get you, which contains you. And you're over there. Okay. 
At least I have a way out now that doesn't require me to be able to fly. Okay, I have my stuff back. Now, let's look for some dimensional shards. Here are some. Where is my pickaxe? Okay, it's... Seriously. Okay, now I should be able to mine the dimensional shards. Here we go. Gimme and... Gimme. The fact that they drop four per thing as well is ridiculous. If there is a way to farm dimensional shards, I need to know about it ASAP. Because that will just... That, that will be so much more efficient than the smeltery uh, exploit. It doesn't look like there was many down here, though. It just looks like it was those two, unfortunately. Let's see if we can quickly skim any dimensional shards from down here. Now, I don't know what it does, um, but I did just grab an enchanted book from the spawner that was, like, wedged into the roof of that place, and it's called The Curse of Mercy. Now, I've never heard of that enchantment ever. I'm assuming it's a modded one. How did I go past you? Hang on, I'm... Went straight past that, and I didn't even notice. But yeah, I don't actually know what it does. Um, so that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to research into at a later date. Because that's such an oxymoron, like Curse of Mercy, which implies that it's probably gonna do some wild shit. Okay, I've looped back around. Yeah, it's time to get out of here. It should be nighttime by now as well, actually. Which means we should be able to commence the ritual, as long as I don't die on the way out. Let's hop down, let's get our wand out, and BAM! Uh... That's odd. Why is it- Oh! Oh, that was weird, it's just not showing the starlight. Whatever, we have the wand! Da 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 da! If we, uh, if we put this in our inventory now... Look at that, star metal cutting tool. We are moving up in the world. Now it is night time, so really quickly, I do just want to do my now annual uh, thing, considering it's like a, a quarter moon, a crescent moon or whatever, of getting up on top of our um, ball that I haven't actually filled with anything yet, which is something I should probably do, grabbing our telescope and looking for a new constellation. Now I see that one. But I need a new one. But yeah, what I'm actually going to do real quick before we move on to the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to take the star metal out of here because we already have quite a bit of that now. We've nearly got a stack. I want to grab the red matter again, plop you in there, and I want to take the dimensional shards and just boot that all up there. That's actually a lot more efficient than I was expecting. That's pretty poggers. Right, that leaves me with... Uh, three red matter, which means I need one more, and I should be able to finish the thing that I started last session. I don't actually think I told you guys what it was I was working towards, so if we're lucky, you might just find out in today's session. But anyway, the next thing I was working towards, like I said, was the sharing discoveries and the telescope. Now, the telescope is basically just the same as the looking glass, except it's, um, more efficient, I guess. It, it basically just lets you, like, Instead of having to look around the sky to, to find the constellations and then hold shift to draw them, this one just points you at the constellations and lets you draw them, which is very helpful. Now, I could technically make this one right now. I don't need the, uh, the, the, the stardust for this one, but I want to get this one done first, just because this is the most complicated of the two. So, in order to make the Scroll of Written Expertise, I need Illumination Powder, which I have, I need a Feather, which I have, I need Black Dye, which I have, and I need Parchment, which I don't have. But that is one of the easiest things to make in the mod. Um, but the Stardust itself, I don't know how to make. I know I have to hit Star Metal with this, but I'm not quite sure how I meant to hit it, if that makes sense. So I am just going to do a bit of reading, and then I'll just jump to when I figured it out. So we have to throw this on the floor, and then I believe we... Okay, let's try that again. We have to throw this on the floor, and then I believe we have to hit the star metal ingot. There we go, with the cutting tool. And that gave us one dust. 
which doesn't have an EMC value yet. So let's just change that. There we go. This thing now has an EMC value of 85. So, you know, it's the, it's the same as iron dust. Let's just quickly hop on over to the condenser. And, oh yeah, I, uh, I forgot I put the red matter in there. Okay, that's fine. Let's just hop over to the other condenser that has dark matter in it. Okay, never mind, that's fine. We can just pop this out and pop this in. Uh, that should be enough. There we go. I might actually be able to finish two tasks here in one go. Let me check. Yeah, we have five dark matter blocks, which is exactly enough, and we have three red matter. So if I drop the dark matter into here and get myself red matter, I now have the ability to just kill two birds with one stone. Okay, I know what I'm going to do today, Ferb. Right, so let's go over here. Let's drop the stardust in here like this. That's one too many. Uh, what was the recipe again? It was stardust, stardust, parchment, black dye. Oh, the parchment needs to be made in here as well. Okay, let's get the parchment done first. And we are going to have to wait until night time, so I do just want to check one last time to make sure I have everything I need on me so that when night comes, I can craft this. What's the rest of it? And a feather at the top. The last thing is the feather. I don't have enough starlight. I don't have enough starlight. And that's as high as it's going to get, isn't it? Because that's the full moon. Even if I wanted to craft this, I couldn't. I, I don't... I don't have the resources to craft it. Because I'm not in a fossic high area. Well, that certainly puts a crimp in my plans. Oak logs, turn those into planks. Then just three planks along the bottom, like that. And then, turn these planks into sticks. That should be enough. No, that's not what I meant to do. Give me the sticks. There we go. The recipe requires the sticks to be... Oh, the sticks require to be underneath. Okay, never mind. Sticks underneath, like that. Boom. And then... One wood in the center, like that. Boom. Then it's two gold. I have one gold. Are you done? No. Gold. And then gold. And the last thing we need is the telescope, so if these spiders could stop bugging me for a second... Let's put the telescope in. Why aren't you... You know what? Never mind. Not gonna question it. There we go. I heard a sound. Are you gonna work? There we go! Apparently it's a little buggy, but, you know, considering this thing won't shut up, I think we already knew that. Well, there we go, we have the upgraded telescope. Uh, well, I mean, it, this is the telescope, but we have the, we have the updated looking glass. Let's put this down here. For now, this is where I'm gonna put it, just because I don't really know anywhere better, but it will change in the future. But yeah. This is, this is how it works. It doesn't, <laughs> because I think having that above it is blocking its uh, sight line, actually, so never mind, let's move it somewhere else. Let's put it on one of these circles for now, because, you know, it's a flat area, why not? This is what it looks like. It shows you a select area of the stars. There's that constellation there. And here's another one, actually. And I think I know which one this is. If I draw a line... Oh, it won't let me draw. It's getting... It's getting light. That That's a thing it does that kind of bugs me as well with this mod, is even though you can still see the constellation, even though you can still, like, actively want to draw, as long as it's past a certain time, even if the sky hasn't updated, it just won't let you. So... I feel comfortable leaving this thing here. And, you know... I'm pretty proud of it. It looks really nice, to be honest. It looks really nice. I think I actually do want to build a proper observatory area for this at- I just had a fucking heart attack. Oh my god. I thought I punched it and it just broke. But yeah, um... 
I like it, and as the sun rises, I'd call this a success. We've actually done quite a lot. I'm not ending the session right now, because I know it sounds like I am. But I think we've achieved quite a lot, and I think it's time to move on to finishing the thing that I wanted to finish in the last session. So let's grab this dark matter, let's grab this red matter. Let's throw some gold in here so I can hurry up with this and take the red matter out. And let's actually hurry on over to the shit shack. Partially because I just want to do this over there. Partially because I just don't want to have to deal with the starlight altar making noise. So let's grab this, let's grab the dark matter pedestal, there we go. And the thing that I was hiding from you, that, um, that I, uh, that, that I, that I wanted to reveal, was the... This is what I was aiming to make. It's called the Watch of Flowing Time. And basically, it's very expensive, but it's very worth it. You can right-click this, and it will speed up time in the immediate area. Which is very useful when it comes to the, the energy collector. Now, to make this, it's four dark matter, two glowstone, and two obsidian, and a clock. And even though I only have one red matter, I know that if I... Oh, crap. I used up all my dark matter, didn't I, making that other red matter? Oh boy, okay, let's really quick just, let's grab a bunch of coal and let's make some dark matter, hold on. Now, the obvious next step here would be to, you know, get a diamond, EMC the diamond, and then make diamond blocks so I can make dark matter. But I may have run into a slight issue of I've just checked every chest I own, and I can't find a diamond. Which means we're gonna have to go mining for some more diamond. Because of course we are. Why, why would the universe ever be kind to me? Yo, that was a lot quicker than I was expecting, actually. Huh. That's really lucky. Um, yeah, you can, as you can see, we are way back in the mines. Uh, that's where the spider spawner is. Where we're sort of over here, but... Huh. I legitimately was expecting it to take a lot longer than that. Although I am slightly worried that there's going to be lava nearby, so let me just quickly prepare. Uh, and then we surround that with the Aetonalis fuel. And we have the four dark matter, and then we can just make the water flowing time. Oh, no, we actually need the other stuff. Yeah, that was a bit of a brain fart. But I know we have the other stuff just lying around, and if we don't, we can go and get it. Watch of flowing time. Boom. There we go. Absolutely brilliant. Completely snazzy. Right. <laughs> so, let's head back to the Astral Temple. And I think this means that we can work on the last thing that I want to do in today's session. So even though I don't really want to use the Watch of Flowing Time just on this, since I don't have the thing I do want to set it, like, use it on set up yet, uh, I'm just going to put it here anyway because, you know, it, it'll help, even if it's only a small amount. So let's put down the Dark Matter Pedestal, which is the most valuable thing I currently own, 4 million EMC. Uh, let's right-click the Watcher Flowing Time to set it to Fast Forward, put it on its pedestal, and shift right-click to turn it on. Oh, never mind, it's just right-click. There we go. Uh, and it's activated! The Watcher Flowing Time is working. So if I throw in something useful, say for example, uh, what can I put in here? Let's put a diamond in here. You can see, even at night time, this thing is moving extremely quickly. So if I were to put the spare glowstone that I got on top of this, so that it's at maximum power, you can see it moves even quicker. And this is just one of them. If I were to create four of these, this thing would go four times quicker. And, like I said at the beginning of today's session, I actually did a lot, uh, a lot of experimentation in a single-player world, to do with, like, building machines that would help me, uh, with this, uh, series. And I found that four is actually the optimum. So while I am just gonna stick to the one for now, in the future we will be working towards getting three more of those. However, right now, I do wanna just quickly try out this telescope, see if I can 
quickly craft this constellation here. Because I knew there'd be one here. I knew there'd be one here. Fish. Bash. Bosh. There we go. Discovered constellation of Dissidia. So now if I look up into the sky, I should be able to spot it over there. Oh, that is lovely. I love this. This is... I, I said it before, but I'll say it again. This is my favorite aspect of this mod. It's just so... It, it sounds weird to say, but it's just really beautiful. And I just... I don't know. I like it. Anyway, I can't stay out here too long because it's dangerous. So, we are going to move on to the last thing that I want to get done in today's session. Um, since I can't actually do the constellation paper thing because I don't have enough uh, fossic energy in the area. But first, before all of that, I am going to get some food because I am currently starving. Now, I wasn't originally actually planning on doing this. I was planning on saving this till the next episode, but to be honest, it's just something that I really want to do because I'm really excited to get started. And even though I don't know if I'll finish it today, I don't know if I'll finish it all in one time lapse, but I at least want to get started. Um, but just like the last episode, I actually plan on bookending this one with another time lapse of me finally sort of, I wouldn't say finishing, but starting on the details of what this next room is going to be. And to do that, I need to gather at least one of every material that is going to be used. And <laughs> unfortunately, well, I say unfortunately, I've done the hard part already. So fortunately, um, I do know where to get the material that I want to EMC to use, but it's in an extremely rare biome. Now, I say fortunately because I, I, I did do the hard work sort of off camera. Um, I, I, once I came on the server, basically, I basically, I, I made it my immediate mission to go out and find uh, this biome just because I knew that if I did it on camera, it would take several hours. Um, and that biome is a mushroom biome, actually, a mushroom biome. Uh, that is where the specific rock that I need spawns. So, you can sort of, if I scroll out, you can see down here on my mini-map, I have marked off where it is that I need to go. But the thing is, it's 8,000 blocks away, and I didn't put down one of those waystones. <laughs> It just completely blanked because I was that tired when I was doing it. I forgot to actually put down a waystone. So I'm just, you're just going to see me jump cut to being over there. But I've got to fly for 8,000 blocks to go towards the Mushroom Island. And I have no guarantee that the block I need is even going to be there. It's only a chance that it's going to be there. So, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's quickly jump over there. You'll see me when I'm at the Mushroom Biome. Uh, let's go! Hey, we finally made it. We're here. Thank God for that. Right, uh, you know what? Let's use the sandy one. Let's be quirky about it. I mean, it's not really a forest. It says it's a field, so let's call it a mushroom field. There we go. And let's just, uh, drop this down, down. Actually, you know what? No, this is more important than the Meteor. We don't really need the Meteor. I don't know why we still have the Meteor, to be honest, because we literally harvested it of everything we needed. Hello? Aren't you cute? You're an Oreo beer, are you serious? I was about to say you look delicious, but oh my god, you're actually an Oreo bee. I think I've genuinely just found one of my favorite types of bees, period. Oh my god. Anyway, more to the point, the reason we're here isn't for any of the mushroom stuff. It's not for any it's not even for anything above ground. We need to go below ground. Because we are looking for a very, very specific type of stone. That's only found in mushroom biomes. The only problem is, I don't know where specifically in mushroom biomes. I just know it's found in mushroom biomes.
Okay, so according to the wiki, I need an object called a mari marimorphosis flower, which needs to be created in a petal apothecary. Uh, and this is Batania stuff, which I have never in my life been interested in touching. So... <laughs> there we go. We discovered a new constellation, Vicio. And considering that I'm gonna need to do a shit ton of research on botany, botania, whatever it is, in order to get the materials I require, um... To, uh, to, to start work on this base. <laughs> I think that is a good place to end this session. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this session of Starsick, because I, I really have. It's, it's genuinely been a lot of fun. If you did like it, make sure to leave a like down below, and uh, also make sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of whenever I upload, be it Anadonia, be it minigames, be it VFX or Starsick, or whatever I decide to do. And uh, leave a comment down below telling me what you think, because I really value viewer engagement, not just on the business side of things, but just because that's one of the reasons I kind of do this. I, I like talking to people that enjoy my content, so um, yeah, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed. Uh, but yeah, that's all from me, uh, until the next one at least, so uh, I'll see you later, shitlords. Bye-bye! <laughs>